on the Mayfly bench. A coffee maker? So I know what you're thinking. Boy, has he fallen a long way. But here's the deal. My wife works in the local hospital. She's one of those frontline workers who are under a lot of stress during this whole pandemic thing. And when this broke, it created a little family crisis. Sometimes I wake up grumpy. Other times I let her sleep in for a little while. Without her morning coffee in the morning, things uh, predictably weren't going so great. So I'm going to see if I can take this thing apart and fix it. Here we go. So the complaint with the coffee maker is you plug it in, flip it on, it does turn on, but it doesn't pump water up and around. Usually, I'm well, I'm guessing, don't have much experience with these things, but I'm guessing that's because the heating element is no longer actually uh, heating up the water. So we're going to take it apart and have a look. Maybe this will be a success, maybe it'll be a total failure. But the first thing you notice about these inexpensive coffee makers is they have a weird screw. This odd triangular shaped screw is going to be very interesting to get out. I considered getting a piece of steel dowel and kind of carving off three edges off of it. But then I found out that an Allen key actually fits in there. So I'm going to undo them with an Allen key. I'm going to open it up and see what's going on. We've got it open. Let's see what horrors lie within. A quick check with the ohm meter has determined that there are no shorts or opens in the electronics. And it's pretty simple. There's a little heater for the plate and a little boiler and a switch. And that's it. How we look inside the actual boiler shows us a fair amount of uh, scale and crap built up in there. Let's scrape that out see what that does. More scale has been found in various other parts. It's back together after a little descaling. And oh, look at that! It's making the coffee. It's making coffee. Family crisis averted.